Hey y'all, back with another video of the vibes. Back in the car. <laughs> As you can see, I just love the scenery. And you see how this hair is still looking laid and slayed. Shout out to 1212. They are not sponsoring this video, so that's free promo right there. I just really like the way it hydrated my hair. I wasn't a fan of the oil, but it's growing on me, okay? It wasn't the oil. It was my fault. I put too much oil in my hair. But I'm going to tell you about the time I had to shower check a girl. Now, anytime somebody said they had to check and it's something in front, that means they had to check them about that. I'm sure y'all got that much. So you can phone check. You can bed check. You can line check. You can check. It's a bunch of things that you can check. So I had to shower check a girl, right? So when I first got to prison, I was at peace at first leaving the county jail because I told y'all I was grateful that I only got 10 years because I thought I was going to get like 25 or 30. So I was, you know, I was okay when I got the transition from the county jail to prison at first in route. But when I actually got there my first day, it was like a hopelessness fell over me because I know it sounds crazy, but when I was in jail, there was another step. You know what I'm saying? There was something other than this. So it, I'm not going to say it gave me something to look forward to, but it didn't feel final because there was something else. So when I got to prison and I went through r &O, which I told y'all about in my video where I said my first 24 hours in the Department of Corrections, when I got through r &O, and then when I actually walked the compound, when I had to go to my dorm, when I got to prison, it was like a hopelessness fell over me. And it became real because the only thing that was after that was my EOS, which is end of sentence. And that was 10 years out. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the next 10 years. So I, it was like a hopelessness, bro. Like I was just down. And I don't know if you've ever had all of your hope sucked out of your body, out of your spirit. But it is not a nice thing at all. So I started feeling down and out now mind you in prison if you don't have nothing if your hair doesn't look nice if your clothes don't look nice if your whites aren't white if you don't have lotion my lips was crusty and all because i didn't even have chapstick if you don't have anything you look like it and you're considered a nobody so not only am i considered a nobody because they cast me to prison which is supposed to be the bottom of the barrel of society but i go and now i'm a part of the bottom of the barrel of society then i go to prison and i'm a nobody because i don't have anything i don't have any money i can't look decent i just look like some throwaway so i'm the bottom of the bottom in the bottom which did not do much for my self-esteem it did not do much for my self-confidence everything was at the floor and i've always been a very confident person and it was at the floor i was just so stuck and low on life and like I told y'all in one of my other videos, I developed a very severe anger problem. I already had an anger problem, but it became very bad when I was in prison because those feelings of abandonment, of neglect, of being forgotten about and how people would treat me in prison, those were firsthand emotions. But because I did not know how to process those yet, it automatically moved to anger, which that was common for me. Any emotion that I felt, it automatically went to anger because I didn't know how to process my emotions. So I automatically became angry. So my anger, it started to get so bad again when I got to prison because I didn't know how to deal with my feelings and emotions. So in prison there's a line for everything which i told y'all about in a previous video there's a line for everything and it was time for me to get in the shower so when you get ready to get in the shower whoever's in the shower you go to them and you ask them who's behind you and they tell you emily's behind me so then you go find emily emily who's behind you sam sam who's behind you and then sam would be like you're after me so it's like okay now when i first got to prison I felt like if you're in the shower and I know that I'm after you, once I see you get in the shower, I'm going to stand outside the door and I'm going to wait on you to finish to go in. I wouldn't want nobody standing over me while I'm trying to take a shower. Like, what is you looking at? You see something you like? Huh? D does this look like a porno for you? So I don't want nobody standing over me. So I did not stand over her. I'm behind you in the shower. I'm following the rules of the land, which is getting in line. So I'm behind you. So on room side i was in alpha dorm on the main 
the showers most times the showers is like there's an opening like this there's nothing blocking this and you just walk in and out freely you can see it from like your bed you can't see the showers because there's curtains but you can see people going in and out the shower and stuff like sit on your bed you can see it from anywhere in alpha dorm the bathroom and showers is like a door you physically have to open the door and go in you can't see inside of it and they have the toilets right here the sinks are right here and in the back there are showers so I'm standing outside the door because I seen Sam go in. I timed it a little bit. So I'm standing at the door and I'm waiting on her to come in. This is how I thought it was ran. But that's not. What you do is when you have your stuff ready, whoever's in the shower, you hover over there like in the area where you can see them. So when they get out, you automatically go in. I did not know how that was. How that's how it was supposed to go. So I'm standing outside and I'm waiting by the door. So I see Sam come out. So then I go in with my stuff. So I'm walking to the back in the shower that I was supposed to get in. It was a girl in the shower. So I'm like, I was kind of confused because I'm like, Sam just got out. I'm supposed to be after Sam. What? I, why are you? Why are you in the shower? So I didn't want to cause no problems. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to be those people. One of those people who just come to prison and just acting crazy, even though it was, it was really pissing me off that she was in the shower because I'm ready to take a shower when I'm ready to bathe, when I'm ready to eat. And when I'm trying to sleep, my patience gets real thin. It's like, I just take my cup of patience and pour it on the ground. When it comes to those three, just to hell with the whole cup. Okay. I don't got them today. I don't have the patience that I probably would have in another situation to hell with it. So I was like, are you in the shower line? She was like, yeah. And she said some other girl, Melissa was behind me. So at first I was just going to, you know, wait for her to get out. But when she said that Melissa was behind her, so not only did you buck me in the shower, you started a whole nother line. So that means the people who after me, we going to have to get at the end of your line to continue my line when that's not how it go. So I was like, no, nah, this is not what we doing. So what I did is I took my my bag with all my clothes and everything because you have to take that in the shower with you so i took it i walked back out i sat it on the sink and then i went in the shower where the girl was fully clothed i don't care about these clothes that i have on because they have to get washed anyway go back in there and i was like there was already a shower line i was at the sam and she was like oh there was nobody in the shower so i got in mind you i was standing at the door when sam walked out and i walked in right after her so it's not like i was somewhere in afghanistan and sam was out the shower and i was unaware and then i tried to go get in the shower 30 minutes later and somebody was in there that wasn't the case so i explained this to her which i didn't have to i was like i was standing outside the door i was like sam just walked out and i walked in and she was like oh well there was nobody here so i jumped in and i was like it was a shower line. I was like, I was next. I was like, I'm gonna need you to get out. And she was like, oh, I'm not getting out until I'm finished showering. And you should have been in here. There was nobody in here. And I'm just gonna get in the shower. She was like, what do you think this is? That people just hold showers and this, this, that, and the third. So she's going all ham. So I walk in the shower with all my clothes on and I cut the shower off. And I was like, get out. Cause I was next. And she was like, what? She was like, why would you turn that water off? And she acted like she was finna turn the water back on. And I was like, if you get out in the shower, everything is fine. I said, but if you turn that water back on, we're going to have a problem. I was like, I was next and you're getting out the shower. I was like, now you can find the end of the shower line and you can get back in the shower. But as of right now, you only have two options. You can either get out or you can try to turn that water on and see what's going to happen. And she was like, I don't have time for this. And she like went to grabbing her stuff. She still has soap, uh, shampoo in her house. She still has soap on her body. And she got right on out and I grabbed my stuff and I went and got in the shower. Now I could have just let that slide, but it's like in prison, there's a level of respect that you have to have. Like if people feel like they can walk over you, they will walk over you 100%. If they feel like they can talk to you any kind of way, they will. If they feel like they can try you, they will do that. And on top of the fact that you're in prison, you're surrounded by a bunch of females who thrive off of drama and confusion. And it's like, I follow the way we're supposed to be getting in the showers and everything. I follow that. This is the system y'all put in place. So you had to get out. So I definitely had to shower check her. I did. And she got out the shower and I took my shower. Now, mind you, I told you they, they act like you nobody because I was nobody. 
I ain't have money. I didn't look well put together. I looked like a scruffy dog that you found on the side of the street. But regardless of how I look, it's still a level of respect that I'm that I require. There is still some dignity in me. Now it might be very small. I might have a my cup may be almost empty on what I feel for myself, but there is still something in there. There's still value in it. And you're not just gonna disrespect me. And I am very big on respect. I will respect anybody. I give any and everybody respect. But she really tried to play me and she got out that shower. She most definitely got out that shower. And <clears throat> in prison, they will keep on pushing a button until whatever they was campaigning for until they get elected. They will. It was so hard to humble myself because I already had anger management issues. I already fighting was nothing for me. I fought all the time before I went to prison. So it was so hard for me to not result to fighting all the time, but I didn't want to end up in confinement for everything. So I had to humble myself. I had to swallow my pride in a lot of situations, but when it came down to respect, I couldn't walk away from it. And she got out that shower and I took me a shower. And I never had to worry about anybody. If I was moving too slow to get in the shower, if I was standing outside the door, nobody ever tried to skip me again in that shower line when I was in that dorm, not one time never had that problem again now if that girl would have turned that water back on i would have had to fight her i would have had to fight her because i had already gave her ultimatum so if i was going to be passive and just let her shower if she would have been like it was just her i probably would have rolled my eyes and i would have stood there and i would have waited on her but after that i no longer stood outside the door and waited on the shower i stood in the shower and i watched them like a predator i guess this is what we supposed to do we supposed to watch each other like a predator while we take a shower now, I wouldn't sit there and stare at them, but I would be in the vicinity because you're not skipping me. I'm ready to shower. It's, that place is a whole nother world. It is. It is. It's more mental than anything. But y'all make sure y'all go watch my review video. I took y'all step through step of the shampoo, the conditioner. It's definitely a must watch. But until next time, I will see y'all later. You are awesome.